All right, well, after winning over 20 games and going to the postseason for the first time since 2015 in his first year at UTEP, that's now the standard for Joe Golding in the minors. Fair or not, for a team with 13 new players, it's the reality as the squad gears up for U2, year two with Golding. Despite losing 90% of its scoring output from a year ago, Golding likes the roster they built. He's long spoken about getting quote unquote his guys into El Paso. He thinks they have done that. UTEP will be deep, 11 or 12 guys could see some run plus an experienced roster of transfers who have won at the collegiate level already should make the transition to a new system easier. We're not interested in winning social media wars or four stars or five stars or where guys transfer. We want guys that uh, we want to coach. We want coachable kids, unselfish guys, guys that will play hard, guys that want to uh, you know, be a good teammate, um, and guys that we can win with. And I think our staff's done a great job of identifying those guys. To your point, they might be undervalued uh, you know, in that world, uh, but to me, they're really, really good basketball players, and uh, I, I really like uh, where we're at right now with them. Miners open the upcoming season November 7th at Texas. Their home opener will be November the 12th versus rival New Mexico State.